everybody. I'm here to show you my mail art. I'm in a swap. The theme is mixed media. And this is my mixed media mail art. I did is I started with some heavy card stock and used my We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope board. Make the envelopes. Um, then I took some Make Memories uh, acrylic paint. This is butter, Buttercup. And I painted the envelope with Buttercup. Then I took my Frisker texture plates. They're old, but they have so many nice textures on it. And I pulled them out. They had two sets. This is um, the first set of, that I got oh, about 15 years ago. <laughs> That's how old they are. It's before the embossing folders came out. And it has uh, hearts design, stone design, a lines design, waves, dots, stars, leaves, wood grain, brick, bubbles, squares, and fabric, fabric textures, and the other set was texture plates 2, and it has the filigree, vines, netting, webbing, like a spider web, raindrops, snowflakes, party is like confetti. Whimsy has like butterflies and flowers and dots and lines. This is grass, ocean, scales and feathers or plumes whichever you want to call it. And what I did was I used the uh, the feathers. To me they kind of look like peacock feathers. So I did that. I ran it through my <coughs> Vagabond. But before I had the Vagabond and yeah the like I said before the embossing folders and all that came out what I did was is I took some cardstock. I would take cardstock and I would spray it with this stuff called paper glide. It would like break down the fibers in the cardstock and make it a little softer for more texture on the paper and stuff like that. So it was, you know, it, it just helped with embossing and die cutting and all that. So you sprayed it on your cardstock and you let it sit for a few minutes. And then I would take a rolling pin, put the, par the paper on top of the texture plate, and use a rolling pin and roll put a lot of pressure on it with um, the rolling pin to squash it and I'd have my foam the foam mat that we'd stamp on a long time ago for some pressure but it would be soft pressure like fun foam or something like that and it turned out pretty good but getting the, like the cuddle bug was my first um, machine and it really helped with the pressure more you know but anywho uh, for the front of this, I used the uh, feathers. And what I should have done now is I realized is I have a peacock stencil from Dreamweavers, and I should have used that too on top. But oh well, neither here or there. And on the back of this is scales, and that's what I used on the back of this envelope. So this is the back with the scales. Turn it over and you could tell the texture and everything here. Use the feathers. So those are the texture plates from Friskars. I also had found some of these old ones too. I have uh, three of them. There's, they're two-sided from Ellison Design. 
This is lines and circles. That's the lines and the dots and circles. But it's not in the circles. Then you flip it over. And here you got uh, squares in motion. If you see that. This is circles. These look familiar, don't they? And these are circle cyclone. That's what it's called. These are by Ellison Design. Argel. And you flip it over and it was called Funky Squares. So I found these and I think I'll start using these. But a lot of these designs that are all, you know, I think some in the body folders. But what I like about these is it's they're big. They're bigger than the embossing folders. And they fit in the bag bond and cuddle bug. Then I um, used some stamps. Well, before I used stamps, I took and um, I used my chalks. Pearlescent chalks. And I went over the raised designs. And I used some inks over that as well. So I used my pearlescence. The other is also jewels too. They're pretty neat shimmer. I used um, by Jacquard Starbright. Um, it's really a fabric paint, but it had um, it's purple with um, glitter inside of it. Let's see if I get the lid off. I mean, it's been so it's so old, but. Let me see if I can get this off so you can tell. There you go. Oh. But you can see there's glitter in it. A real hint of glitter. Not real heavy or anything, just a nice touch. But this was for, this was fabric paint. And it's by Jackard. Jackard. Uh, and what I did was is I took a sponge and I went around a little bit of the edge. Put some along there. Did the edges a little bit and you could tell it's a little sparkly. Along with the chalks I use a little shimmer in the chalks. I use some chalk inks as well. And I use my stamps. And then I used on the back and on the front I used um, Luminaire by Jackard. This is Pearl Magenta. It has a metallic in it. See in there? These are nice paints. That's my first one. Um, this stamp I got at the convention. It says, life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it you can paintbrush going through. A little splat. It says, um, Danny K. I guess that's what he had said one time. It will quote. This stamp is by Paula Best. And this stamp says, work like you don't need the money. Love like you've never been hurt and dance like no one is watching. This one is by Hampton Art. This says, um, Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. That was that. My second one is um, again I made with my We Are Making Mem Memory Keepers um, envelope scoreboard. For my background, what I used was a 6x9. Um, craft envelope and I used the background is from phone book an old phone book we were going to be throwing away so I ripped some pages out and I used that I gessoed it not gessoed it but I used a gel medium to hear the telephone book pages too and I tore pages out of the yellow pages this was an ad and so I um, glued them to the envelope then I started distressing and I put uh, 
some white clear gesso on it and it made it transparent but it gave the paper tooth to grip and hold. I used some masking tape along here along with some washi tape. I used some Tattered Angels uh, sprays. Then I took my stencil that I had gotten a long time ago at Rubber Stamp Convention in Cleveland. It's by Lasting Impressions, which they're no longer in business, sad to say. But I took the stencil and I put it on top. And I used my Dreamweaver's gold metallic paste and stenciled over it. And it came up with this. Sending love. So it worked out pretty good. Then I took some wire mesh for drywalling or whatever. I have a small piece of square of it and I got some acrylic silicone caulking. And this is cheap. You can get this at uh, Walmart for $2.50. And it's five and a half uh, ounces in a tube. It's pretty big. But I'm not going to pay the price that the texture paste and the molding paste when this does the same thing. So I got that and I put my fencing over on top of the envelope and I used an uh, old card and just used a spatula to scrape it over the fence. And then after I let it dry, I used some pearl white paint, rubbed it over and then I let it dry. I took a stamp. It's just like an advertisement stamp. It's like all one word. It's by Posh Impressions. It's like a newspaper print. And I just stamped right into it. It stays on. I used also um, another stamp. And I it has a clock and a butterfly and wording and all that. But you really can't see it. But that I used embossing powder. And it's by Judikins. It's called uh, Egyptian Gold, and it's real sparkly and gold, and it's, like I said, by Judikins. I've had this for a long while. A little goes a long way. I've had it for a long while. And I got this at the convention as well over the years. I go to the conventions each year. And the one I'll be going to uh, Saturday is Stamping, Adventures in Stamping, that I've been going to for the past 30 years that I've been stamping. And collecting a lot of stuff now. <laughs> so I embossed the stamp in that. This is a um, magenta embossing powder that I just use a dot. It uh, has a dauber end to it with the embossing liquid in it. And I just dabbed it and used some magenta. Used the stamp up here and I used my um, holographic enchanted um, embossing powders kind of like turns colors when it's heated. I use some more sprays. I use some more washi tape. And then on the back I did the same thing and used my holographic powders and my enchanted inks and some more embossing dots. This is a peach. This is a tea bag that I saw on a blog. She's been stamping for a long time too, and she was also um, did wrote articles for Rubber Stamp Madness and everything. And she had this idea that she uh, cleaned out the tea bag after she, you know, made tea or you know, I make a lot of iced tea in that. So I thought, well, hmm. So. I took them, cleaned them out after I was done, and dried them. And this is a tea bag. And I stamped on top, and I got a little envelope inside with my information, and my blog, and YouTube channels all in there. 
but I thought this was cute and so that was from the, this is all like a tea bag paper yeah so did that dried it and stamped it used some more tattered angels glimmer mist or whatever you want to call it and give a little shimmer in that and that's my envelope this is what I'm going to be getting ready to send off tomorrow in the mail these two two envelopes so those are those what else I've been doing um, I've been in um, swap over on the craft toll and my partner was Tracy and it was a clipboard any clipboard swap so this is what I got the other day in the mail from her love the papers charm dangle and the filigree butterflies I like I like the filigree flower on top and then underneath lift up I like it a lot seven gypsies clip the paper's pretty too oh, that's from Tracy she also included a journal book that she altered and covered some lace, some trim. The paper matches the clipboard. They did a nice job. I really like it a lot. Seam binding. And she also enclosed um, a goodie bag that she altered. Um, I love this paper. This is the first graphic 45 paper that I had bought a long time ago at Hobby Lobby. And it's funny because now, you know, I hate to use it now, but I used it a couple sheets on some mail art a long time ago and folders and things like that. And now I'm somebody sending me the same paper back in that that I had. And it was, you know, hate to see, you know, it part. So, but it, it's funny how things work out that way. And inside the bag, I'll show you. It's inside the bag that she made. She enclosed some. pieces that she made of uh, molding clay which I will use and reuse and make my molds and then use them too. Thank you Tracy. And some corner, rose corners in the dress form. Very nice, thank you. She made an ATC for me. It's really nice. It's called Beauty. I like how she used the mold on that. So yes, I'll be making some molds. And she has a um, store. It's on Zbert, Zbart, Zbet. dot com. Art Attack. T Savily Yahoo. dot com zbart.com that's all her information on there but yes yeah, she made really cute ATC card I'll have to add this to the collection of probably 300 plus ATC's that I got you can get the baseball card protector holders and the three ring binder and you can stick them all in there and they just fit all perfect so that's where I've had mine at I'll have to put this in with a couple other ones that I've got. She also enclosed some journaling cards here. Oh, the paper line is from Prima. Some of 
those. Some CAT, I have to spell them fixed because Chloe would go nuts right now. She'd be barking and looking out the window for them. But these are really cute. They're on Nate TC or Collage It or something like that. Steampunk cats. Really cute. And some um, papers from the collection. Communique, Graphic 45. Some background cards for ATC training cards. And she stamped some images. I don't have these. I don't have Copics, but I think... Um, H2O's, I have over 100 and probably 140 H2O colors that I've been collecting and using since I've been stamping and they came out. So I'm going to try them on here and see how it comes out. But these are really nice, makes you want to color. So I thank you, Tracy, for sending me and the extra goodies. And for being my partner, I had fun in that swap. Again, it's over on Facebook, the craft hole. And uh, I'm having so much fun over there, I, I have to tell you. Um, everybody's so creative and it's not clicky or, you know, everybody likes everybody and it's just not one few, three, four that you know, just all stick together and that's it and blah blah blah. Everybody is so fun and conversations are fun and it's just just nice and relaxing. And your swaps, I, I kind of like the one-on-one -on -one swap you sign up and you know, it eliminates that need to spend the extra money to send to one hostess and then have to, you know, have it sent back to you and all that so it just it's it's fun it, it, it's nice and relaxing and you post pictures and you do videos and you know the whole bit it, it's just nice fun relaxing no no competition no you know like I said no clicks in certain people it just everybody's just all one and there are just so many over there so check it out if you like I'm not sure if she's taking any more people right now because uh, she said she had gotten a lot of people that um, they're not you know taking any new members as of yet but you could always try it now what else um, oh I got some mail art from some friends um, this is from over from England and I'd like to thank Lester for in a group for mail art and I've had so much fun doing that getting different kinds of mail art in the mail and from all the different countries and it's just been nice he just sent me this and that in the envelope I mean it's like you don't have to send you know like goodies or just a note and the envelope itself is a nice gesture just in the mail and note and send anything light or papers or anything you want it doesn't have to be heavy or it just tames the mail art so he sent me a bunch of nice cute things and he made this it's I forget what it's called but he drew it feels like, you know, like, it's one cotton, uh, what do you want to call them, you know, when you go to a restaurant or something, you see placemats, that's right, and it's a bird that, I guess, over in England, that is coming, uh, extinct, let me see if I can find it in his letter, it's a Britain bird with its chicks, yeah, it says it's the uh, the Britain is endangered, very exclusive in England. So he 
he drew this and made this, which is probably kind of hard to see, but it's really nice. And I thank you, Lester, for that. And I love his nail art. And glitter pens and things. And he sent me also, um, I like to collect the stamps from different places and different countries. Made, um, these are fun to make. To hold your tickets, uh, not tickets, but to hold your stamps in and everything in each level. And there's just different stamps that you put in these slots. I forget what it's called. Stamp holder or stamp display. It has all kind of different stamps in it. I haven't really gone through them all yet, but they're fun and comical. And I just, yeah, you know, I collect them from my pen pals from different countries and everything, and they're just fun to stick in collages or a project or something like that. And there's all, all kind of different ones in there, so. Thank you, Lester, for that letter. I also want to um, thank my one friend, who's uh, is my partner in the swap over on Sat, and she too does mail art. I'm trying to cover her Addy up. I didn't think about doing that before. But it was fun to see and remember that we were from another group, RST. And but this was, came in and it was, was fun to see this. The Zentangle. They're doodling. I'm just spray painting and stuff, the blow pens, this was the back, and it was the fold of the month swap, and this was the card that was inside, she sent me. So yeah, it was some fun now. I know my mail lady enjoys it. She says, I get the best mail in the mailbox that she delivers <laughs> in our neighborhood. Well, that's it for now. Um, I just wanted to share with you all. That's what I've been doing. And I'm finally going to take a break, I think. And uh, just do some cards and go back to using my stamps and just, just playing around. Um, come back from the convention uh, weekend, probably have some more things to play with. I don't want to buy too many things. I have over, like I said, 30 years been going to these conventions and stockpiling and it just it's adding, you know, bulk to all my drawers and my shelves and it's like, it's everywhere. So, but anywho, that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, I'll be getting my mail art in the uh, swap in the mail tomorrow and that's it I will talk to you later and I hope you have a great rest of the week thanks for stopping by and leave a note if you like let me know you're there alright bye